We have a bunch of new gaming goodness for you this week. Here's your top five biggest gaming news stories of the week. Number five, PlayStation Now, Sony's cloud-based game streaming service, is growing by over 100 titles. In a PlayStation Plus blog announcement, a whopping 105 games were added. Of the new additions, 21 Capcom published games joined the service. Titles from the Resident Evil, Street Fighter, and Mega Man franchises. Very nice. Number four, new details about Fallout 4 surfaced thanks to a report by Game Informer that revealed Fallout 4 actually started with Bethesda porting Elder Scrolls V Skyrim to Xbox One. Bethesda did the port to help understand what was then still unreleased, next-gen hardware. But answering the question we all want to know, is an actual Xbox One port of Skyrim on the current-gen systems going to happen? Todd Howard responded, don't get your hopes up yet. Ah, well there is hope after all. Number three, Konami is reportedly gearing up for the next entry in its beloved stealth action series, and not just any entry, a massive entry. According to Nikai, Konami is currently planning what's next for Metal Gear Solid, confirming when we start development, a large-scale investment will become necessary. A large-scale investment, you say, huh? I am down. Number two, November 9th, mark your calendars if you haven't already. Xbox chief Phil Spencer announced via Twitter that date is when you can expect the first 100 Xbox 360 games to become playable on the Xbox One. Rejoice! Backwards compatibility is finally here. Our number one story this week comes from Courtney Taylor, who voiced 13,000 lines of dialogue for the game. She reveals that the level of detail you'll find in Fallout 4 is completely fleshed out, saying they've taken it to a new level. There's no stone that hasn't been unturned. She even relates it to the level of detail you find in a Pixar movie. I am sold. And that's your top five gaming news stories of the week. Be sure to check out the rest of this week's Daily Fix episodes for more news. And we'll see you guys again, same time next week. See you guys soon.